Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at this Convoy M3 LED torch. So this is an extreme brightness LED torch using the Cree XHP 70.2 LED emitter and it looks to be made from multiple dyes inside the actual LED capsule. Um, but this is a very bright LED torch and it is rated for, according to the data sheet for the actual torch, 4,300 lumens. The LED itself is designed nominally to be driven at 2 amps with an output of approximately 2,000 lumens, but it can be driven at 4 amps, giving 4,000 lumens. In the spec sheet, the Convoy M3 says that it can drive the LED at 5 amps maximum, and this was a torch from Banggood. So this is the 5000 Kelvin version, so relatively cool white, and was bought for $34 delivered. So relatively cheap for a high brightness torch. In the past what I've been using is this Crazy Fire XML T6 torch, which is based around the Cree XML T6 chip, which you can see in the end there. This is a 1000 lumen LED rated for 1000 at 100 lumens per watt. So if you drive it at 10 watts or 3 amps at 3.3 volts, you should get maximum brightness out of this. And I often use this when I go for a walk at night. It is quite bright, uh, but not as bright as I thought it could be. This one does have quite an interesting design in that it has a zoom lens. So you can pull the lens out and you can see here that's affecting how far the lens is away from the LED. If we have a look on the bench, this is at full width and then you can zoom in and really focus in. This gives you very long range vision, but obviously you lose all your peripheral vision uh, when it's zoomed in all that way. This one is fixed zoom, uh, but it compensates for the lack of um, zoom with brightness. So this torch has four different brightness modes. With the Crazy Fire, you get three different brightness modes plus two flashing modes, so it has sort of a strobe mode and then an SOS mode. The Convoy M3 only has four constant on modes. So there's several ways that you can operate this. So if you press it once, it goes on the brightness that it was previously on when you last turned it off. If you hold down the button, it goes on to the 1% mode. And if you turn it off and then double tap, it goes on to the 100% mode. If you want to cycle through the brightness as you just hold down the button. So if I hold it down, that's the 1% mode, then 10%, 40%, and then finally 100%. And that is excruciatingly bright. So that is swamping out all of my lab lights. This is, uh, you know, really quite bright to the eye. In fact, I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open at this point. So it's quite an interesting construction. It's all metal, really nicely made. It is designed for outdoor use, so it comes with a couple of spare O-rings, but basically it's made of three parts. So at this end, you just have uh, the battery terminal and that connects the battery to the metal case. So the metal case is at zero volts on the battery. Then you've got a center tube section here. And that's the bit that actually holds the battery in place. And you can see the two O-rings on here, and that's just a metal cylinder. And then you have the torch head itself, which has all of the electronics, the LED, the lens, and the protective glass. The lens itself has an orange peel effect um, to try and disperse the light a little bit further. And then all the, the electronics is, is hidden in here. And this has some thermal modes, so if the LED starts to get too hot, uh, because at full brightness mode it can't dissipate um, all of that power. It, uh, it will throttle down the LED to the next available brightness to prevent the LED itself being damaged. But this is all a self-contained uh, little module. I'm not sure if you can take it apart any further, but um, there's not really going to be anything of surprise. There'll be a little uh, microcontroller, a DC to DC converter, and that's probably about it, just a couple of sense resistors. So not a lot going on in there, I would assume. So before we go and take it outside to give it a test, I thought what we'd just do is take a look at how much current it's actually drawing in those various modes. So here we have it on minimum brightness, and this is drawing about 60 milliamps. 
and this is at 4 volts input voltage, so that's about 240 milliwatts. Let's take it at one brightness level. So now that we're at 10% mode, we're now drawing about 725 milliamps. So that's somewhere in the region of almost 3 watts. Right, so we're now at what they're classing as 40% on the spec sheet, but we're actually putting 2.775 amps in, and the power supply is now set to 4.3 volts. So that's about 12 watts going into the device, which is already basically the maximum rating for the LED. Right, so I can't actually get the torch to go into boost mode when connected to the power supply. And I think that's basically because the spec sheet does say you need to be quite careful over your choice of battery. So it recommends batteries that have extremely low impedances, uh, capable of continuous draw of at least 20 amps. And this torch does take two different types of battery. So you can either put a IMR26650 in it, or a standard 18650 battery. The IMR26650 gives you better performance because it has an even lower internal resistance than your standard 18650. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is the recommended battery, although this one does fit. So in some of the other torches that I've used, it's come with a little sleeve uh, because if it's designed for the 26650, which fits quite nicely into the barrel, if you were then to put in a 18650 battery into it, it's quite loose to roll around inside there. However, this one doesn't come with one and it's specified to use it like this. If you put it here, uh, even if it's offset, it does only contact the spring in the middle. And if you uh, screw the end on, it is held quite well in there by the spring tension and it does allow you to use it in the boost mode. So clearly uh, my bench power supply is causing an issue which is stopping this from entering that boost mode with the leads attached. So here we are around the back of the house in the woodland. You see we've got trees all around with a footpath down the middle and we've got an opening just here up to the sky. And this is the crazy fire torch at its maximum brightness with the zoom all the way out. And this gives us about 15 maybe 20 meters of vision in the dark and quite good peripheral vision to the sides. We can zoom in with this torch and then you can see significantly further into the distance but then you lose all of your peripheral vision nearby. So here we are with the Convoy S3 on its lowest brightness and this is probably acceptable to go walking by and obviously the battery lasts forever in this mode. You've got good vision to the sides um, and you can probably see about half of what you could do with the Crazy Fire at full brightness. It does light up the tips of the trees quite well but yeah, this is uh, perfectly acceptable to go walking by. You'd certainly uh, not distract anyone with your torch at this brightness. Let's take it up one level. And now we're already brighter than the Crazy Fire Torch. So if the Crazy Fire Torch is rated for 1000 lumens, we're probably exceeding that at this point. You can see really far into the distance. And again, the tree tips. You can easily see those with this torch in this mode. Let's take it up one more brightness level. And now we're incredibly bright. So this is probably similar to what you'd expect if you were driving a car and you had your headlights on full beam. I can see so far into the distance here. And again, all the way up to the tips of the trees, really quite bright. And then we've got the turbo mode. And then this is uh, pretty insane. The camera's notched it down a little bit to account for the brightness, but this is insanely bright. You can see so far with the torch in this mode. I think actually the medium brightness mode is perfectly acceptable. This is actually really bright and even on this mode the battery life is pretty good. So yeah, that's just a little look at what it looks like outside. You can see again on the turbo mode. So yeah, this turbo mode is incredibly bright. You can see absolutely everything. It's almost like daylight in the woods here. And I'm probably starting to uh, distract some of the wildlife. Right, so I've had the torch on for about three minutes now on boost mode and it's just started to blink like this, which is indicating that it's going into thermal throttling mode. In a moment, it's supposed to knock down one level to the high brightness mode. So let's see if it does that. And there we go. So it's just knocked down one level. The torch is actually really quite warm 
to the touch, it's dissipating quite a lot of power in this mode. But in high brightness mode like this, it should remain stable. So there we go, that's a little look at the Convoy M3 Torch. I'll put a link in the description for the Banggood listing if anyone is interested in taking a look at this. I do actually think this is a really nice and really well-built torch, and I'm certainly going to be using this for the foreseeable future, particularly over winter. So hopefully you found this video interesting, and until next time, thanks for watching.